Hey, it's Briggs R, and it's time to do Lego haul. Well, this is going to be a little bit different. I got a flat package right there. Uh oh, whoops. And hey, look, I matched the train. So we're going to open this little flat package. It's from Belgium, from eBay. Let's see what we got. We got stickers. We got stickers. So that was my flat package. This is the sticker sheet for set 7735. Oh, it's got the shell stickers. I need those. I could use those on that um, oil station, even though they're not exactly the same. They used all the main stickers to basically build the, the train set. And then you get all these extra stickers. And I thought, you know, these could come in handy. So I went ahead and picked up that. I could even put them on this set 7810 if I wanted to. Um, but I'm not. So that's what we got. A sticker sheet. This, this is an original sticker sheet. This isn't a um, counterfeit or... not a, I, I guess that's a cruel word to use, counterfeit. Not custom or homemade. Because a lot of times with the old stickers... Uh, in fact, I, I'll, I'll do this too. I'll get some that just print it out so how do you feel about custom stickers versus genuine lego stickers now of course if you're selling a lego set on bricklink uh, you got to have genuine lego stickers like that if you're going to have a set to be complete plus it's got to have all the right parts now let's do another package something i think i already have this but it was such a good price i went ahead and bid on it and then nobody else bid on it so i got it um Maybe it was a bite now. I can't remember. For some reason, I won the auction. I think I don't think it was a bite now. I think this is what this is. Uh oh, pieces got loose. That's never a good sign. Goodness, how did they pack this thing? Oh, the box is actually too thin for this set. All right, we got it out. It is. Well, let me get. I'm gonna have to come off the tripod. All right, it is set 905, which is the doll set. This is from the. I think this is from the Samsonite. Era. Yes, it is. It says right there, Lego by Samsonite. And I want to say it's from the 60, but it's got the pirate captain. Oh, we should build that. one. Oh, I need to build that pirate captain. I wonder if that's one of the earliest Lego pirates. So we got the high priest, we got the traveler, we got the musician with the guitar, we got the clown, we got the native girl. Hmm. We got the coachman, we got another pirate, we got the oriental man, <laughs> we got the oriental lady, we got the boy ballet dancer with the big hips, we got the girl ballet dancer. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see what's in here. Ooh, like somebody built the clown. Right there, see the clown? Somebody built the clown. And we got little manuals in here. <gasps> it's the doll set instructions. Oh, I'm excited about this. All right, before I open it, how much detail do you think is in this? I'm guessing not very much. But we will see. Let's see what's in here. Uh, I wonder which model, or it be all the models, or none of the models, or just some suggestions. Aha! Uh -huh. Follow these simple four steps to build the. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! It's like in four steps. This is simple. Just four steps. Start with the base plate, the box top. So, if you if you ever see these on eBay. They're always missing the top of the box. You know why that is? Because the box top was the base plate, which I'm assuming was either strapped down or taped down or something to the top of the box or glued. I don't think it was glued. But obviously, it was. I think it was... It probably had that um, sticky stuff or something because this part's torn. So I need the base plate, which does not appear was in here. It looks like most of these pieces do belong with this set, but it's missing the um, the black base plate. 
so pretty much that is the most detailed part of the instructions the other part is just basically the pictures from the box of course all these are these are really simple to build uh, a little more detail with the fat ballet boy there but um i want to build the pirate so that means i need to find what are these 10 by 10 i'm going to see if i got one of those all right so i went on to Pieron, P E E r o n dot com they have an inventory that somebody submitted there years ago Pieron used to be the website you went to if you wanted to find uh, inventories for set instructions things like that before we had bricklink and other like brickfactory.info but according to the inventory that's submitted there and just like all the other inventories out there on the internet sometimes they can be wrong or there can be variations of the same set uh, it said you needed one 10 by 10 base plate this is the old style and one black one and I had these in my own personal collection they're actually in a box that is two feet from me on these shelves uh, in here I have a box of base plates basically I call these base plates they're bricks but they're they're like base plates so I'm gonna build this <laughs> Alright, so I followed the simple step-by-step -step directions to build the Lego Pirate. <laughs> oh, man. So, um, I think I got it close to what the instructions showed. Uh, I ran out of um, the 1 by 2 I think this should have been a 1 by 2 brick up here instead of two one by ones But that's okay. Uh, there's a lot going on in there that you can't really see what's going on with the bricks. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I got it. I think well, it's. I think it's structurally the size or the. It, it is the uh, pirate. Let's see what he looks like from the back. I actually haven't looked at the back yet till just now. You tell me what you think. <laughs> I have built the Lego pirate, and actually. Uh, even though it's called the doll set, this apparently is the main model, the pirate. And you make all kinds of dolls, it's got the girl and all these others that we showed, but this is the main model. So this, I think, could be called the first Lego pirate set. What do you think? Arg, That is incredible. I need to get this thing where I can get a better shot of it. We don't have trains. So they didn't have trains in the pirate times, did they? I don't know. Yeah, they did. Um, but anyway, I'm pretty excited. <laughs> now let me show you something about these pieces. Hopefully it shows up. You see how shiny they are? In fact, some of these almost look brand new, even though they're 50 years old. Look at that. Let me focus on this. Isn't that incredible? It's because they're cellulose acetate. And... Um, it that causes a clutch power problem because these little pieces here they, they don't like to stay I mean I touched it to knock it off but it, it's barely hanging on there and let me tell you something I've built other cellulose acetate and that's pretty good that those stay at all usually they just they don't clutch at all with the one by ones and so or either that or they're too tight but they, they naturally warp with time so that that plate there is warped but this is something else that's incredible I haven't looked at the inventory, but I have a 2x2 two two green plate. That is incredible. You might be saying, why is that incredible? Because that's rare, I think. I don't think it was in too many sets back then. Green was a very uncommon color back in the day. And there I got a 2x2. Two 2x3 two. Two plates, a little more common. So anyway, I'm really pretty excited <laughs> about this. I was able to build it. The only pieces I had to go get from my own collection was the base plates that go with this. So I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. Tell me what you think of this, the Lego Pirate set. So we still got all these other pieces left over. Like I said, I'm going to go through the Pieron inventory. It looks to be fairly accurate. And being that this is a used uh, 
auction from eBay uh, to have this the pieces enough to build the main model and then all these others they look like they go with these other models I'm pretty sure this is while it may not necessarily be complete it's about as close as you can get for a, a model like this where people really don't technically know the um, inventory oh I didn't show you the other manual it's more of how to use Lego gears here and stuff let me set it down here 400 Schwader Brothers and it shows these boys here there are absolutely no limit I said this is uh, for the wheel toy sets. I don't even know if this would have come with this. Oh, get your wheels in supplementary box number 400. All right, so this is an advertisement to get the wheels, which was Lego invented the wheel. All right, but that's what I'm happy about. Tell me what you think. Set doll set number 905. Oh, there it is. You see uh, how they have the... Uh, the 10 by 10 plate on top of the box that's what these square box tubes had and that's the way this one would have had but anyway that is the first lego pirate arg so thanks for watching this video be sure to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one thanks for watching Brizar.